Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Teams Profile Plus sample app. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Acobellis, as I always post micro content related to Microsoft Teams and other Microsoft products on my social media profiles. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, before we look at how to use the Profile Plus sample app, I'll quickly describe what this app is used for. Essentially, what this app does is it adds on some additional details to your individual profile card so that you can describe things like your interests, your goals, you know, projects that you're working on, and even positions that might be available within your team, uh, in your department, in your organization. Now this is a sample app and this app is currently in preview, which means you can't just go into the Microsoft Teams app store and grab this app and add it to a team. Uh, you actually have to go ahead and download the installation package, which I've included in the links below. Uh, and then you actually have to upload this and install it to a team. Now it's likely that Microsoft is going to push this into general availability, uh, at which point you'll just be able to go into the Microsoft Teams app store and add this app into one of your teams. Now that's an important note. This app is to be used in the context of a team. And so it's going to basically take all of the members of that team and easily display all of their information about their profile, as well as content that they've added to their profile again, with respect to either their interests, the projects that they're working on, uh, or even open positions in their department. Now, what's also interesting is Microsoft also announced that they will be adding a snippet of this app into the base Microsoft Teams application. So later this summer, they're actually going to allow people to add topics to their profile. So again, one piece of this app is that you can actually post topics, uh, and that is going to be making its way into the base Microsoft Teams desktop application. So it'd be interesting to see if Microsoft actually folds in some of this functionality uh, right into the Microsoft Teams app. Now let's go ahead and let's look at how to use this app. All right, so you can see here that I have added the Profile Plus app to the general channel of my human resources team. And when you first click into this app, you're going to be shown this welcome message here. Okay, and you can see that the app is really just about customizing your profile to include additional information. Uh, it, the app will also show you the org structure and enable you to connect with like-minded individuals in your organization through Teams. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on continue here. And this is the landing page, if you will, of the Profile Plus app. So what you'll notice here is that you have this search bar that allows you to easily find people in this team. And then you can actually see contact cards for the members of this team. And so you can see that there are uh, two additional members of this team uh, in addition to myself. And now what I'll do is I will click on the contact card for my colleague Diego. And so what you're going to see here again is it's going to display the org chart. So Diego actually reports to Nestor Wilk. Okay, and if I hover over this card, I can click that and drill down into that org card. Now what you're going to notice is the Profile Plus card adds this additional pane here. Okay, so it shows uh, the title of the individual, their email address, uh, where they work from, where they live, and then it allows you to easily either send a chat message, call them, or create a meeting. Uh, and here you'll notice the additional tabs about uh, goals and interests. And if I toggle between these, again, this is just a place for you to provide additional information about yourself that can be accessed by your team members. Now I'll quickly click on the back button here. And what I'll do is I'll click into my profile. And so you'll notice that I currently don't have any information posted. So I will go ahead and click on the edit button. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow me to fill out an introduction. So I can put a little introduction here. If I wanted to actually paste a link to a video, 
or even a link to my LinkedIn profile, I could go ahead and do that. Next, you'll notice here you have the option to specify what projects you're working on. And so if I go ahead and click on this drop down, you're not going to see any values and that's because I don't currently have any projects input into this app. If you wanna go ahead and add a new one, you could just type that here. So I'll just say profile plus launch and I'll click add. And I will just say Teams Training Add. All right. And if I click on the drop down, you can see here I can now select multiple projects. So again, just showing people sort of what you are working on in the context of your department or even your organization. Now, with expertise, again, same idea as with current projects. So I'll just quickly uh, add one here Microsoft Teams. And if I click on the drop down, I can go ahead and select that there. Now, the next tab you have here is the Goals tab. And if you click on the Goals tab, essentially what this does is bring up a free text editor where you can provide some information about what kind of goals you have. And so you can see here, I've just input a goal. Next is the Interest tab. And again, same idea, just a free text box uh, that does support rich text if you wanted to provide other content. Um, and the last tab is the open positions tab. Now the open positions tab allows you to publicly post positions that you may be recruiting for in your department, in your team, in your organization. So you'll notice here I could click add open position. Uh, and essentially what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to put in a job title. And so in this case, I will just say that I'm looking for a developer. Uh, if I wanted to put a link, I could just put in uh, a URL here and you know I could put in a job description as well. Okay, now I'll go ahead and I'll click on save and you can see here that the app updated and it now shows this open position as a card just below my profile card. All right, so you can see here that my profile has been updated. Uh, specifically, you can see the message that I put in the about me section. If I click into the goals tab, again, you can see the content that I had included in the goals field. And if I click on interest, I also input a message there and that gets displayed. You can also see the posting that I created. Now, if I go ahead and click on this link, what this is going to do is this is actually going to bring me into the posting uh, card and you can see the details that I had put in there. And if you wanted to actually link out to a job posting again, that URL uh, will allow individuals to uh, click on it and take them directly to that particular posting. So again, a good effective way to communicate uh, job postings and even include links to external sites or apps that may be hosting those job postings. Now, the last thing to show you is the search capability in this app. So you can see here, there is a search bar. Uh, what this does is it allows you to look for individuals who meet a specific term. In this case, if I was searching for Wilbur, I could easily find my colleague, Alex Wilbur. Okay, and you also have another option here to filter your team members by other project or expertise. So clicking on that filter button is going to bring up the filter by project and expertise menu where you can actually drill down and select a particular project uh, or a particular expertise and actually filter your results. So again, pretty handy way for you to easily identify colleagues that are either working on specific initiatives or that have some specific expertise. Now, the last thing I will show you is how to request an update. So I will go ahead and click into my colleague Diego's profile and you'll see here that he doesn't have any information included on his profile, but there is a button to request an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what that's going to do is this is going to send that individual a message uh, just in a one-on-one -on -one chat with them uh, with some pre-populated text asking for this individual to go ahead and update their profile. So again, uh, it doesn't actually send them a notification or anything like that or an email, but rather just sends a message indicating that you would like them to update their profile. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the Profile Plus app. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Ecobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.